Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Well, Scott here bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we will return to the mother tree and create an amazing bedroom. We'll build a four pester bed, bookshelves, and an awesome desk. But before that, we're taking a look at an awesome view of Scarland. I like to call this the National Park of Tall Trees of Scarland. I like to come up here and kind of take a look at the amazing trees that have grown out of the ground. Well, actually, they're man-made but i think they still look pretty awesome as the sun sets we will now head in deep into the mother tree so we'll head into our project that we've been working on for quite a few months now but i believe it is almost done and we'll finally get to that official tour of scarland very soon so let's get to today's build <laughs> Alright, welcome down to the mainland and this beautiful night of Scarland. The skies are clear, just ready for an amazing build that we're about to complete. And so we're going through the farm here, looking at the tree farm and the mother tree as we enter over into the arch. So yeah, so here's our amazing ceiling we once built and here's our staircases leading down to all the different floors we've worked on in the past. But we'll first take a look at our last build in the last episode. The link link will be showing up on the screen right now. And here it is, our amazing bathroom where we made this kind of fancy sandstone bathroom here. We've got our shower, we've got sinks and mirrors and a bathtub and a toilet. Now I told you guys that I would look through the comments and the sandstone appeared to of one. So we're going to leave the sandstone toilet and I love having you guys give me feedback on what you guys like and what you don't like. So this is our project for today. We will build an amazing four poster bed, a desk and bookshelf. So let's get to it. We'll also have some exciting news to tell you guys very soon after we get the four poster bed kind of arranged and you know just getting the proportions ready and then I'll have some exciting news to share with you guys. Okay so we're going to start this by I think we're gonna place the posters of the bed here. Let's grab out our beds so we actually can get that going. So we'll pull those out. We're actually gonna make a real big bed here. This is gonna be a giant bed. Now watch this, watch the bed like shoot out, watch. As you click it, it like folds out like a, like a, a folding bed. It's kind of cool, I never noticed that before. All right, there we go. So let's make our four poster bed like this and then we'll add some more details to it to make it look a little bit more jazzy. Now we have the space in the back here. I think we'll just fill it in with some more dark pine wood. I think that'll look nice. Makes a nice contrast against the birch wood. Whoops. So I'll clean up that mistake. Come around here, fix that side. And we'll make that go like that. Come around here like so. There we go, looks very nice so far. Now this design actually looks a little bit better in a bigger room. So if you have a bigger room, you can more kind of expand upon it and make like a little design on the top, which is nice. And also you can kind of go around it, maybe you have, maybe put in the center of a room or something. But with the constraints of building this in a tree that we want to make look as natural as possible, it's a bit hard with you see we have four entrances coming into this room so we have to contend with that and different things like that so this design looks good in here but it looks even better in a, in a larger room in a larger setting so i want to keep the tree as i said before as natural as possible so let's just finish this across here wait 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 we made a little mistake let's fix that here to have made a mistake over here. Oh, I see what we did. We just doubled up that. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Fixed our mistake. I would have liked to have done half steps up here, but unfortunately with that lighting glitch, it is a bit annoying. But there we go. I think that looks pretty good so far. Now we have our nice bed. You can also do this back area here with uh, some type of colored wool, but unfortunately all my colored wool is miles away and I don't want to walk all the way over there. All right, so let's move on to our desk. We'll place here, and I wanted to let you guys know about the exciting news that I recently became a Machinima partner. 
So my channel has now been partnered and I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me over almost two years now. We're getting close on two years. All the support you guys, you've enjoyed the videos, you've left the nice comments, and if you've seen something maybe I could do better, you left constructive criticism to help me uh, improve upon my videos, and I just really, really appreciate that. And I never get, I never get a chance to thank you guys enough for all the, uh, all the great comments you guys leave and the support you give me. So I thank you so much for watching my videos and enjoying them, and just thank you guys. Now, with being a partner, I have the ability to live stream now. So there's our desk. Looks pretty snazzy, I think. So let's, we're going to add a lot more decoration to the room, but we're going to first get down kind of the structure of the room, like the bed and the desk. So let's move into our bookshelves. So we're going to build some bookshelves over here. So let's get that started. I'm going to knock this wall out here, and then we'll add kind of a cool design over our bookshelves to make it look a little bit more unique. But like I was saying, live streaming. With being able to live stream now, what do you guys want to see me live stream? I'm sure you guys would enjoy the Minecraft, of course. That's just a must. And But there's some other games I would also like to maybe live stream. You know, Black Ops is kind of the hot new game at the moment. You know, they got the zombies campaign, the multiplayer. So that would be cool. So let me know in the comments what, what, um, what uh, games and things you guys would like to see me live stream. So you know we've got Roller Coaster Tycoon that I've been meaning to make a video for for way too long and let's see I just want to stop talking for one second and figure out where I place this ball. Oh, oh I remember sorry but um, like I was saying uh, I've got Roller Coaster Tycoon Assassin's Creed 3 is an amazing game I don't know if you guys would enjoy seeing that but let me know in the comments what video you guys would like to see live streamed might be a little rocky at first because I've never done it before. Actually, I did it one time on Twitch, but I'll be live streaming on the YouTube because that's where all my super awesome subscribers are. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks good. Let's do the same on this side. So I believe we need to... Yes. No. I'm trying to see if we need to knock out that wall a little bit wider. So this is... One, two, and then that would be okay. So let's see here. One, two. Okay. Yeah, we need to knock this wall out. But yeah, I'm really excited to live stream. I think that would be really fun to do. Because you'd be able to interact more with you guys as you're building something in Minecraft or playing Assassin's Creed or something like that. So I'm excited to hear what you guys would like me to live stream. All right, so let's fill in here. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Coming across, finishing up our awesome bookshelf. All right, so let's finish. I like this design. I don't know, it kind of adds, oh, it kind of adds kind of an extra little uh, layer to your design a little bit for your bookshelf. See, it looks like there's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a neat design over it. Makes it look a little bit more unique, something different. But like I was saying, you know, with the constraints of building within... Oops, are we out of... Uh, yes, we are. I hope I have some more birch. Um, building the constraints of building inside of a tree. I, people have asked if I'm going to build some windows or things like that. I've tested them out. Oh, I think that looks nice. There we go. Good. Awesome. I've tested out the windows and... It's just, we need to keep the tree as natural looking as possible. And when you start adding windows and stuff, the tree starts to look a little fake. I want the tree to look like a natural living tree. Okay, so I'll be right back because I need to grab a few saplings for our next design. And I'll be right back. All right, went out and grabbed some more supplies. So let's head back up and add a little bit more decoration to our structure. So there was something I was going to tell you guys and it just blew my mind again. But as we head up our stairs, we will notice that this is where we might build a kitchen for our mother tree farm soon. Okay, so now we're back in and let's see here. So we're going to add a little bit more decoration. So I was thinking before we stopped, I would add these little posts here and we could put some flower pots on them. So let's do the same on this side there 
and right there. Okay, good. So let's grab out our flower pot here and pick a sapling. Ooh, that's the question. I'll probably change it on and off, but kind of thinking about the jungle sapling for some reason, even though I think the spruce would look a little bit better, but I think we're going to go with the jungle sapling. I don't do enough with that sapling because they're a little bit harder to come by. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Not not 100% on it at the moment, but we'll see what we have. Maybe we could do some other saplings in some other areas. There. Sweet. All right. So let's move that out of our inventory so we can bring in our portraits. So do we have any, do we even have any room for a portrait at the moment here? We could do something. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I kind of like that. I kind of like that colors. I like how the darker blues and grays kind of go well with this. Add a torch right there. Eh, the torch is a little large. I like how it lights it up. Hmm. Well, hmm, I don't like the torch. The torch, even though I would like to bring a little bit more light into there, it's just not going to quite cut it at the moment. Let's see. Can we add a light here, maybe? Now, we're ceiling, right? Yeah, we're up to the ceiling. Well, that's the constraints of building in a tree. <laughs> okay, so well, how else can we make our room look a little more fancy? Let's see, let's add a little bit of dark pine to here. Always complements things. So let's see, add that there. Nice, I think that looks good. That looks very, very nice. I'm always thinking that also that if we added one more layer of this here, make, now that won't work. But yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. We might change out the saplings. Like I always say is when you build something, just step back for a little while, come back to it, and maybe it looks great. Maybe you think, hmm, what was I thinking? Let me fix that. And that's what I do all the time, especially when I paint or draw, something like that. I always like to come back at it and take a look at it again. So let's take a little look at it, what we've completed in this episode. We have our four poster bed for our tree farm. So now we have somewhere to sleep. We've got a place to store our books and this new design that I came up with I think looks pretty cool because it, it separates each row of books and I think that looks very nice. We have a great place here to do some work. We have our drawers here to store our files and our paperwork for our tree farm and we have the same design on this side. Well guys this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and once again, a big thank you guys to my Scar subscribers for being so awesome. And if you believe this video deserved the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter.